Ever seen one of these before? They're more than just headscarves. They're powerful symbols in the fight against racial oppression. By 1763, when Spain successfully invaded the Louisiana colony, there was a large population of free black people living and thriving in Louisiana. The new Spanish colonial government sought to restrict free black people's lives and to impose a strict racial hierarchy. The Spanish proclaimed that all free black women must wear headscarves known as tignons. Tignons were traditionally worn by enslaved women while they worked. By requiring free black women to wear these head wraps, the Spanish sought to mark them as inferior to white women. The women had to comply, but they did so creatively. In silent rebellion, the women tied their tignons in ornate, eye-catching ways. Those who could afford to created tignons using expensive fabrics. Others adorned theirs with feathers and jewels. Meant to stifle their voices, instead, tignons became a form of expression and individuality for Louisiana's free black population who reappropriated these symbols of inferiority and oppression and wore their tignons proudly. In 1801, Spanish colonial rule ended in Louisiana, but tignons lived on. In time, they were even adopted by white women, including First Lady Dolly Madison. Today, the fight against oppression carries on for marginalized people everywhere, but the resilience of the past's peaceful warriors continues to inspire activism and change. In what other ways have oppressed peoples used fashion to protest against injustice? 